Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Bonnie Lad Adventures and the Deer's Adventure. I'm going to do a stealth camp in Durham Castle, somewhere around there. Anyway, today's the Miner's Gala, aka Durham Big Meeting, for once a year. Everybody from the pit villages come to Durham for the deer and enjoy it. But I'm away from there at the minute. I'm up the castle. So I'll show you around the castle and where a few Harry Potter films scenes was set. So I'll take you in round there, go to the city centre, get some food, get some drink, find me stealth camping spot and then we'll go off for a bit of coke. See you in a bit. See you in there. Hi <laughs> right, I'm at the cathedral. I'm gonna to have to keep it down. I'll show you around. And I'll show you where some of the Harry Potter scenes were shot. I'm gonna to have to be quiet because there's a bass on. Alright mate. Why oh, you handsome? Right, let's go. I'm walking about with my camera. This is the cloisters and the scene in Harry Potter when they come out of the classrooms and they go to the next classrooms. If you're a happy Harry Potter fan, you'll recognise this. But I'm not a Harry Potter fan. So it makes no difference to me. <laughs> but uh, he's that bloke, he's not happy with me. Do you want to stop filming? Uh, when the fire comes, yes. Right. No, I'm just going straight out now, mate. There was just a quick in and out, mate. Cheers. No, no problem, mate. I understand. This way. You're going out? Yeah. Oh, I'm not, wel I'm not welcome in here, yeah. I'm supposed to be going straight out, but I'm going to cut quickly round here, yeah. Everybody else has got the cameras out. Right, I'll just get out. Which way? This way. So. Back out. So basically, you are allowed to film people in, other people in with the cameras, but it must be frowned upon or something like that. But never mind, I showed you some Harry Potter stuff. Right now, I'm gonna go. Gotta keep quiet, I can't. I'm gonna go and find me stealth camping spot, and then I'll go to the city centre, get some supplies, show you around the town. There's loads to do, there's fairs and stalls and everything. Right, the castle's directly... Why am I still talking quiet? <laughs> right. The castle's directly up there. I was going across that bridge and then I've seen all of this. If I can't find a stealth camping spot in amongst this, I never will. So we'll have a quick... I'll have a quick ganders in here, but I'm, I'm trying to find somewhere with a view of the castle, but most of the time, anywhere will do. But, but what I'll do is I'll find, I'll find a spot around here. And then if I find a better one on me travels, then I'll use this as a backup place. But this is right down the river. It's absolutely beautiful. 
And it's a nice cool deer as well for running around with a backpack on and, and you know what if you've ever been stealth camping but this is going to be a lovely one this it's got to be like I see I'll use this as a backup plan I'll uh, see straight in here on a night time nobody will be around here oh look at this right this is plan here for the time being right got that sorted now I can chill out and relax a bit so I'll go to the town centre we'll get some supplies I'll have a few beers I can talk properly now there's nobody around and all I'm not camera shy when you're walking through the crowds it um, gets you a bit nervous you know but um, aye this is going to be a good one this so we'll go to the town centre like I said get some supplies get some coke and have a couple of beers, have a walk around, and we'll get back to here. Unless I find another, like a better spot, um, with a better view with the castle in, which would be good for the thumbnail. So, say he's in a bitski. <laughs> Band sandwich. I'm not going to get out here. Oh, getting hectic here. I'm going to have to get out of here. Oh, no. Good door. Oh dear me, first of the casualty of the night. Plenty more where they come from, the labours. through what used to be an ancient cobbled roadway from the city centre down to the river about 700 year old this little alleyway oh, I'm trying to find the oldest pub in the world it's round here somewhere but I can't get round for the jazz bands and stuff like that but I will show you when I get round somewhere oh, I've come the wrong way Filled up a bit there. Yes. Thank you, Naomi. Funny lad, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to you. When you order a Julius Caesar from Wish, anywhere, I've got my food now. I'm going to go to my stealth camping spot because it's getting absolutely mental around here now. It's just full of drunks. YouTube, say yeah. big up Bonnie Lad Adventures. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> I'll see you when we get back to me uh, to the stealth camp and spot the first one what I sing. Right, back to plan here. The original spot. Just make sure nobody's here. Looking around. This is me looking around, looking stealthy. 
why I'm stealthy. Right, straight in. Path well trodden, so I'm going to have to go in just out of view. I can't see anybody coming in here. It's only six o'clock, but I've getting away from all that madness inside the town. It's starting to get ridiculous now, just people want... Basically, they're rolling around drunk and banging into everybody and back onto another path. <clears throat> all right, straight onto another campsite. Um, up that wall. I think there's a wall there. Why I'm stealthy. Somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Come on. Somewhere out of here will do. But it's got to be flat. Right, this is a dead end. No. No. Do you know what? This might look all right. It's a bit of an enclosure. Oh. Um, this will do, I think. It's a dead end. And I don't think anybody will be here. And if you get low, my top will just be sticking above that. I think this will do, right. I'll flatten this out, make a sort of a camp. I'll bring this back when I'm packed. When I'm packed. When I've unpacked. And I've got it going. Season a bit. Right, I'm half set up. I think that's a, a cracking little setup for my standards. And that, that knot, that knot there, don't ever try and replicate that mind. If you're in an army situation and it all kicks off and you've got to get out of there, there's only me knows how to get out of that. So any um, special forces or anything like that, do not replicate that knot. Okay, just a warning for you. And I'm I'm only halfway in, but I'm getting there. And that's a beauty. I'm getting better. So I've just got to get my bivy set up. I'm that good. I've only used half of my shoestring budget. Class, eh? I'll use that for later on. So I'm halfway in. I'm up. I'm sweating, it's really, really hot. I'll get my bivy bag out on top of my ground sheet, get everything in, ready to go to bed. Um, and I've got my little spears here for coking. It's not going to be windy. It is raining a bit, but I'm totally and utterly sheltered. Absolute class spot. Oh! I've picked a good spot here in mine, haven't I?
<laughs> Sell us your boat. Why you take a nomical? <laughs> oh god, look at that. Why the bunny? <laughs> I'm not gonna get much sleep tonight. Not round here. Right, dinner time. Today for something different, I have a party salad. Six eggs and a pack of crisps. So I'm going to make an omelette. So I'll bring you back when it's all frying up. Right, that's all the veg in. Breaking it down, eating it up, softening it up, ready for the eggs. Won't be long now. These old pocket rockets are unbelievable. They're only 35 quid. But what you can do with them is unreal. It's not going to fall off neither. So I've leveled it all up before we started. And, um, and you can stop taking the piss out of me trainers in the comments section <laughs> which I actually find hilarious because you only saw them from that side there's a bit of cabbage in me shoe you only saw them from that side last time I was out what you didn't realise is that actually Adidas right look at the state of them why would you go wild camping in good trainers or a pair of hiking boots you just wouldn't. Nor in the summer, walking around Durham or even Dur uh, Edinburgh. There's no need for it, you know what I mean? So, stop taking the water out of me trainers in the comment section, which I actually find hilarious. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the food. Oh, it's breaking down beautiful now. I'll give it another five minutes. I'll pour it on a little bit low. I'll put the eggs in. And I'll bring you back. Oh, by the way, we've just got four cans of Fosters. It's simple. I can't go over four percent lager because it makes us ill, or anything anything over four percent actually. Right, omelette time, and then bed. Absolutely beautiful. Because it's done in butter. Everything is nice when it's done in butter. Right, it's about nine o'clock, half nine, something like that. And I'm tired. So, oh, what I'm going to do is same as last camp, I'm going to go to bed early and I'm going to go, uh, get up for sunset just for use. I might go up the castle and or the best, whatever best for you and uh, get packed away and watch the sunset come up. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh man, beautiful. I'll show you the guys in the in the morning.
Good night. Switch it off. Hit. Three o'clock in the morning, and it's absolutely chucking it down. Good job, the trainers are inside. Wouldn't want to lose them. But look at that, starting to flood. It's okay in here. But it's not out there. Never mind. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. Me thinks it's time to get out of here. Well, I missed the sunset. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Slept like a log. Oh, look at me cub. Right, we're out of here. It's half eight in the morning. Can't believe that. Slept like a log. Oh. Right. That was brilliant, that. Really enjoy that. I think that's why I slept so long. So, anyway, if you liked, like and scoop. Subscribe, I always say that. Subscribe for more Bonnie Lad adventures. See you next one.